Hello, good day, viewers. In this uh, tutorial, we're going to look at this um, uh, questions. Uh, what problem lead to linear equation? Okay, a cow traveled for 15 kilometer in a city at a certain speed outside the city. It travels at 72 kilometer at twice the formal speed. You see, if the total time for the journey is one hour eight minutes, find the average speed in the city. Okay, uh, looking at this question, the first thing you need to do here uh, is to transform this uh, algebraic sentence into an algebraic equation. First, uh, we must know the formula for speed. Then we look at this part of the sentence. If the total time uh, is one hour eight minutes, so that means our uh, time here is very crucial. So we have a two time, the first part of the journey t one, and the other part which is t two is equal to uh, the total time. Okay, so that is the first thing we must do here. Then the we know that the total time is. Um, uh, the total time is one hour eight minutes and we need to convert uh, this eight minutes to hour so because in speed uh, kilometer always uh, move with uh, hour okay so here this become one hour plus eight to convert from minute to uh, hour we multiply by one over sixty uh, which is um, uh, this become one plus uh, 2 over 15 and this eventually become 17 over 15 okay, so that is for the total time okay then we know the speed our uh, speed is distance uh, traveled all over the time taken so time here if we are making time the uh, subject of the formula time we become uh, the distance uh, all over speed Okay, uh, for the first part of the journey, uh, we assume this is T1. The distance there is uh, uh, for T1, the distance is uh, 15 kilometer. Uh, the speed here is uh, assume it to be V. Okay, then the second part, which is T2 now, the journey outside the, 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 the town, okay, outside the city. Uh, we see that uh, the distance is 72 kilometers and uh, the question here is that uh, twice its formal speed. The formal speed is, is V, then twice mean times 2. So this will be 2V, 2V. Okay, so here, well, if you look at this second part of here, 3, uh, 2 year 1, uh, 2 in uh, 72 will give us 36, so that the time there will be 36 over uh, v. So we will insert this uh, in this equation that are related with the entire time. Okay, uh, here t1 is 15 over v plus t2 which is uh, 36 over v is equal to the entire time, the total time, 17 over 15. Okay, here if we look at this, the left hand side of the of this fraction, uh, is, uh, the LCM is just uh, V. Let's look for the LCM first here. Uh, here, uh, this 15, here the LCM of this the left hand side is V. V, V is uh, 1, 1 times 15 is 15. Plus V in V is 1, 1 times 36 is uh, 36 is equal to 17 over 15. Uh, 15 plus 36, uh, that will give us 51. 51 over V is equal to 17 over 15. Okay, uh, what we need to do here is uh, either we cross multiply. Uh, if we cross multiply here, we cross multiply here, we will see that uh, this will be 51 times um, 15. Uh, here will become 17 times of V. Okay, the next step is to divide both sides by by 17 
Bibles are by 17 because our interest is we are looking for the speed. So here, uh, 17 here, one, 17 can go into 51, 17 in 51 is uh, uh, 3. So that's uh, V is equal to 3 times uh, 15. Uh, so that the speed there will become uh, uh, 45 kilometer per hour. So that's the unit for speed is kilometer per hour. So this is essentially the answer to these questions. All you first do is make sure the statements there are correctly uh, translated into um, uh, equations. Once that is done and uh, you, you know, aggregate them, you'll be able to achieve your results. Uh, have a nice time. See you in my next virtual class.